So today's topic is interesting. Not only is it contagious, it's actually good news. I know you thought the worst, but before you go there, I want to talk about something that if it gets on you, it will affect and change your life, but it will also affect and change other lives as well. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. Well, it's a beautiful day here, uh, middle of January. I'm doing some winter fishing. I've got a little uh, fire going on here in my day camp. Uh, what a beautiful day. And it got me thinking about um, an important topic I want to talk to you about. And that topic is something that I believe is contagious, but it is also good news. And I know everybody thinks the worst when you think something contagious. Uh, and I think that's because we, our minds have been conformed to go that way. But the topic I want to talk about is actually generosity. Uh, you see, generosity is contagious in my book because if one person does a generous act, it usually inspires someone else to do the same and it creates momentum. I was on a conference call recently for work. Uh, there was over 100 people on the call and it was before Christmas and someone someone got on there for a couple minutes to share about a charity that was near and dear to their heart that uh, raised money for sick kids in a hospital and it gave them a Christmas that they were not going to have and also uh, the parents and the grandparents as well. And this individual had uh, supported this cause for many, many years. I can't even comprehend uh, what these families are going through. It's the unimaginable, uh, but this is something that he has committed to and he's had major impact and so he got a chance to share it on the conference call <clears throat> and at the beginning of the call he had uh, raised about $2,500 so far and had a $20,000 plus goal. Uh, after he shared for a minute or two and got a little emotional people started putting up money and you could see in the chat we were doing a video call and people started putting the amounts that they were gonna uh, that they were gonna uh, donate. And by the end of the call, I think we had over, there was over $15,000 donated. And by the end of the day, I believe it was 25,000. And it's because the generosity, the spirit of generosity got on people and it created momentum. One person uh, took action, which created uh, inspiration and it just got on everybody and everybody was doing it cheerfully. They were excited to give and when they heard the testimonies about what was taking place. And so, um, I've been watching, uh, my wife and I have been watching The uh, the Men That Built America. It was a phenomenal uh, series done a few years back. I'm just making sure there's no moose sneaking up on me. Um, I, I think the History Channel did it, I don't remember, but it talked about, uh, it was really well done, the history of Vanderbilt and Carnegie and uh, Rockefeller and uh, J.P. Morgan and Ford. And, and uh, these guys amassed just incredible wealth but what they did in their later years is they uh they, they 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 flipped and they went to philanthropy and they started just giving their money away and they got bit by the bug and they just got addicted now i don't know what their motive was some i think some of the motives were to outgive the other guys and there was some competition um but at the end of the day it did a lot of good and when you give, it becomes addicting and it becomes contagious and other people start to get involved as well. And I want to share just one little last story with you um, just to talk about perspective. Um, I had my kids, my, my wife was uh, out yesterday morning. She teaches some dance classes that she actually just launched. So she has her own business doing that. And uh, I had my kids for breakfast and they were being cranky. They were, they were doing what sometimes three and seven year olds do, uh, being a little ungrateful. In that moment, I've got good kids. Uh, but in that moment, they were being a little ungrateful. And it was a teaching moment where I got to talk about, you know, there's a reason that mommy's uh, at work, that she's started this business. It's so she can, you know, make money and so we can eat and so we can live in this home, but also so we could bless others. There's a reason that daddy works. And then he's busy during the work. It's so we could, you know, pay our bills and we can have heat and we can, you know, do fun things and we can have clothes and, you know, we've never gone hungry. And I just started to explain to them. And I shared uh, about one of the causes that we support. Um, one of the individuals, actually, he's a pastor in Pakistan. And I started sharing with my kids and showing them pictures 
And I said, see this guy? I said, his dream is to set families free from slavery. And it's actually uh, debt, the slavery of debt. A lot of these families have no means to make income. They borrow money from these uh, brick kilns, these, these um, companies that own these brick companies. They make bricks. And they get into massive debt just so they could survive. They make a very, very nominal wage, but they never make enough to actually pay off the debt and get ahead. So there's actually families that are born into debt uh, generation after generation. And uh, once children become 12 years old, they have to work in these brick kilns. And many of them don't have shoes. They've got like one pair of clothes. And I started showing my kids, this is why we do what we do. Is so we can be taken care of, but so we can bless others. You see this 12 year old kid, they don't have any shoes on. It, don't you think um, it's a good deal that mommy goes and works so she can provide means to not only take care of us, but also to take care of them as well. And in that moment, my kids had a different perspective and they really started to get it because they were getting um, connected to the cause. They were, getting, they were getting involved, so to speak. And so that's the topic I wanted to talk about today was, was generosity um, and uh, just has it got on you yet? Have you, have, you, have you done something without any strings attached just because? And uh, it, I believe it's in our core DNA to, uh, to bless others. I believe we were created to serve. We were created to give. And uh, it is so empowering. It is so invigorating. And I hope uh, that's something that you will um, meditate on today. Anyway, coming to you from North Idaho on the uh, Coeur d'Alene River. What a beautiful day. Hope you guys have a blessed one. Talk to you soon.